everything we got Give it an honest shot Turning it on and off with been sliding Riding the highest dream Keeping the fire real I call for you Hi everyone, I'm Simone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm making a very special dessert today for a birthday party that I have tomorrow but I'm not sure what dessert I should make. So out of my recipe box, I'm going to see which dessert I'm going to pick out. So let's see which kind. I'm going to choose this one. Dirt! I love dirt, also known as my flower pot dessert. So I'm going to go to the store and get the ingredients and we'll see you after the store. Alright, so we just got back from the store with all of our ingredients. And the stuff you need to make the flower pot dessert is a clay pot to hold your dessert. And you can find a clay pot at your local garden center. I thought this pot was really cute because it looks like a flower on the edges. And you can totally paint over the pot and make it your own. But for today, I'm just going to have it plain. And you're going to need some chocolate cake, which is homemade by me. And you're just going to need to crumble it up and put it in the bowl. Then you also need some chocolate pudding. Then you're also going to need some crushed up Oreos in a bag. And I had to use a hammer to crush up my Oreos because it was really hard to crush the Oreos. But you can use whatever is easiest for you. And you're going to need some Cool Whip for one of the layers in our dessert. And we're going to need some gummy worms at the top to make it look like dirt. And before we start with the dessert, you want to make sure you have something over your clothes so your clothes don't get dirty. Whoa! Now that I have my apron and my hat on, make sure if you have longer hair to have it tied up and put in the back of you. Make sure you wash your hands before you start making the yummy dessert. Alright, so I just washed my hands, so let's get into the dirt dessert. So we're going to start off with the chocolate cake and you want to make it close to the flower pot as possible so you have no spills on the counter. Who got me seeking star? Alright, so I just finished putting all my triple chocolate fudge cake into the flower pot and it actually really looks like dirt and it's so cool and you want to make sure you don't smash the cake flat inside the flower pot because you want it to be naturally layered and it looks like dirt, like it actually looks like dirt. If I saw this, I would be like, oh my gosh, why is there dirt at a party? So now we're gonna put in all this chocolate pudding into the flower pot, and you wanna make sure it's right by the flower pot. All right, so I just finished my second layer, which is the chocolate pudding, and this is what our dessert looks like so far. And it looks so good, and I can't wait to dig into the dessert. So, so far we're building two layers, and the first layer was the chocolate crumbled cake, and now the second layer is the chocolate pudding, and now the third layer is going to be crushed up Oreos. And I love mega stuff, because why get regular stuff when you could get mega stuff? You're going to want two packets of whatever kind of Oreo you like. So right now I just have two packets of the original crumbled up Oreos. So now, I double bagged it because I started to use the hammer on this and just exploded everywhere. So make sure you double bag it and next time I make this out, learn my lesson. So now you're just gonna wanna flop it in there. And tell me in the comments down below, do you like the inside of the Oreo or the outside of the Oreo better? All right, so now that we have three layers, and it's kind of going to turn into a pattern because the first layer was the crumbled up chocolate cake, which you don't want to spread because you want it to be light and fluffy. And then the second layer was the chocolate pudding, which you do want to spread. And then the third layer was the Oreos, which I just did. And you don't want to spread the Oreos. But now the fourth layer is going to be a whole tub of Cool Whip, which you do want to spread it. So it's like, don't spread, spread. Don't spread, spread. It's got to keep coming into a pattern. So now you're going to do a whole tub of Cool Whip. Alright, so I just finished making my new batch of cake, pudding, and Oreos. So we're going to do the second time of all four of the layers and the desserts getting really heavy. So now I'm just going to repeat all the steps. Alright, so I just finished my dessert. And in my dessert, the first layer is the chocolate crumble cake then the chocolate pudding, 
then the Oreos, then the Cool Whip, and then you're gonna repeat that, but change two things up. So that's gonna be the chocolate crumble cake, then the chocolate pudding, but I did dark chocolate for the second time I did the pudding. Then you're gonna actually do the Cool Whip, then the Oreos, because at top you want the Oreo effect to look like dirt. And I'm so excited because it looks so good. And now it's the best part of the entire thing. Decorating! So I have all these flowers, I have these little signs. Because I'm going to a birthday party, I thought these little stick things would be cute inside the dirt because you can find them anywhere. You can find them at the dollar store, the 99 cent store, and because it's a birthday, I did birthday theme. So I have like happy birthday signs, but if you're doing other things such as 4th of July, Halloween, or other special occasions, you can find all these stick things. And then I have some butterflies and some flowers, and I also have the shovel. So you're gonna bring the shovel to the party, and that's gonna be the serving utensil, and everything's gonna look so good, and I'll also have bunny worms, because they're gonna look like real worms, and I'm so excited to dig into this, so let's get decorating. All right, so now we're gonna start with the flowers, and I decided to do five flowers out of the seven, so the colors I chose were orange, white, and yellow, and you wanna keep all your flowers towards the center because you're gonna put all the other decorations around the side. Okay, so I just finished putting all my flowers in and I love it so far, so now I'm gonna put in this happy birthday sign because I'm going to a birthday party. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the gummy worms and I think my dessert looks pretty good so far, but the worms are just gonna make it a lot cooler. So now I'm here with my big sister, Alexa Hi Ray, guys. And she hasn't seen or tried my dessert yet, so I'm gonna go grab it in the fridge. So this is gonna be her first reaction. To I'm so eyes. excited. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. So I made Alexa her own individual dessert, and here it is. Oh, oh my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. Wait, this actually looks like a flower. <laughs> So now that Alexa just saw the dessert, she's gonna dig it. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh gosh. Have you tasted it yet? No, I haven't tasted it yet, but there's layers of crumbled chocolate cake, Cool Whip mm. Oreos, and dark and milk chocolate pudding. A plus. Really? Yeah. You like it? It's really good. And there's little gummy bears in it, which is really cool. Okay, so okay, I baked yeah, you I never this thing, and you're going to see for the first time, <laughs> and you need this. Get everything together. That's part of it. Okay, I'm scared. But you know. Okay. It's on this table to your right. Okay, tell me when. Two, three, go. Oh, my gosh. There's a bit short of the video. Oh, my gosh. What is it? It's dirt and there's layers of chocolate oh, cake, so chocolate oh, pudding, no. Cool Whip, and Oreos. Oh, and we're our so gummy worms. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And whoever does all three of those, leave a comment down below. And I'll like it, heart it, and respond. And if you've tried this dessert, make sure you tag both of us on Instagram using the hashtag Simone and Alexa's dirt, and tell me if your dirt was a nail or a fail. And until next time, love you. Bye.